The 501st Clone Trooper Legion is leading a large-scale assault on the ruins of a Separatist city. Captain Rex is on the front lines with his lore-accurate Clone Wars 501st Clone Troopers, deploying against the city infantry defenses while his tanks take up the rear and provide cover fire along with LAAT gunships. On the left flank, we have Jedi General Anakin Skywalker leading another division of 501st Clone Troopers to flank the droids. And on the far right flank, Jesse is pushing in with an additional squad. They're putting the squeeze on the battle droid army defenses. However, the droids have a serious tactical mind behind their defenses. That would be a tactical droid, one of the clone's many objectives in this battle. But they have another unit they need to take out, Asajj Ventress, who will be on the front lines with her Magna Guards trying to chop Anakin Skywalker and his clone trooper compatriots to bits. If you guys do enjoy this large-scale troop transport assault on a ruined Separatist city, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Now let's get into this thing. Real quick, huge thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video. They have literally the best deals in gaming. I use it all the time. If you like Star Wars games, Lego Star Wars for $2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 for $9. One of my favorite Star Wars games, Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, a buck 70. If you wanna play the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, Men of War Assault Squad 2, $3. Extremely popular games can be up to 99% off. Link in the description below. Thank you to Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here and the clone trooper army begins their troop transport assault on the ruined Separatist city fortress. Falchion tanks already laser beaming the crud out of an AAT off in the distance there. ATOTs and LATs are deploying their soldiers at the moment. They do have this special feature in the game where when they deploy, they disperse pretty far away from the tanks. So if the tanks blow up, they will not blow up with them, which is pretty handy. Falchion tank going over these hills here and just full charging forward. Uh, there's a tri-droid though to its right that could be a little bit lethal. It seems to be aiming at it right now. Perhaps a, a shot shall be taken and it does. And it does not kill the tri-droid right there, but it does definitely damage it. Maybe it is concussed. ATTE might be able to finish off the job over this way, which is being covered by some ground infantry troopers from an LAAT gunship to its right over this way. So that's definitely a good thing to see. Uh, right now down mid, yeah, most of these soldiers are getting deployed pretty wholeheartedly on the battlefield. A ton of 501st Legion troopers getting out here. Falchion spraying with that crazy laser fire that they do have access to. I don't know how good that laser fire will be in a city defense, but it seems to be doing a decent job as of right now at the very least. There's Captain Rex down there. Let's see if we can't zoom in on this bloke with his uh, very special DC-17. You know he's got to have his DC-17 equipped. Oh, that looks pretty dope with the clones moving forward. Captain Rex in the uh, far left side over there. Telling them to deploy, and then the ATTE do an absolute work in the background. Oh, this is what we live for in the Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy Warm Up, baby! ATOTs over here uh, t seem to be taking some hits. Uh, we do have some of these AA guns, but this one got fried. Look at all that damage right there. Whoo! Yeah, those droids that were manning it are very much so dead. Those things are decently powerful, so it would have been cool to see them more in action, but it got absolutely destroyed. Uh, Anakin should be over this way, and yes, there's his ATTE. It seems to be tangling right now with an AAT off in the background there. His troops are deploying throughout this area this way. I don't see Annie right now, though. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? There he is. There's my boy. Looks like he took out a droid behind this barricade right here because all that I see that's remaining is an E5. Oh, rocket fire going for Anakin. Luckily, it doesn't hit him because that could have done some serious damage to the man, but he is moving forward over this way. All right, let's see what Asajj Ventress is up to in that case. We still got crazy amounts of fire going on out here as the clone troopers begin to push forward. That Falchion tank, I am surprised, is still alive. It is side-shooting droids over that way. It is absolute pandemonium on this battlefield. Holy cow. AAT tank still alive in the city defenses out here. 
Lots of B1 battle droids also in defensive positions throughout this place. Here are the Magna Guards that were protecting Asajj Ventress. They are on retreat mode, so they can move backwards if they feel like they're not doing great during the battle. But there's Asajj Ventress. She's out here in Clone Trooper lines right now getting into their crater trenches here uh, and going after them right now. A lot of her energy is going to be used at this moment deflecting laser fire, so it's probably not the greatest situation for her to be in, uh, but she can start swinging at clones, but no, she falls to the ground. She might not be dead, though. Let's see. Uh, no, she is dead. Wow. What a waste of Asajj Ventress. She went in and she got absolutely clobbered by Clone Trooper Fire, but the droids do still have themselves a a leader in the tactical droid who is all the way back here behind the city hall uh, in his own barricade defense over this way with e-web turrets with uh, very large HMGs right there so he will be a lot harder to kill I think than Asajj Ventress here are Jesse's troopers on this flank over this way um, it doesn't look like there's a ton of them left oh here's more over here okay cool so Jesse could still very much so be alive Although I am seeing some dead bodies over here, so he might have gone down. It's kind of hard to say at the moment. They are pushing pretty hard right now this way. I don't see Jesse currently. If you guys do end up seeing him... Oh, wait. Is that him? That's Jesse. Okay, Jesse is still alive. He is not frontlining with his troopers. Come on, Jesse. Captain Rex would not approve of that. You got to be on the front line, risking your life, being daring to be a part of the 501st Legion. We all know that. You, you gotta lead your troops. All right, over here, ATTE's pushing forward. Falchion tank over this way finally does end up biting the dust. I mean, it's about time. The droids should have killed that a while ago, considering the amount of kills it probably got against the droids. Now, clone infantry begins to push the city defenses directly themselves. Uh, luckily, they do still have that tank support, though, so... Uh, they can be backed up fairly decently. Droid Sniper over here going for some kills against clones. He gets some shots off, but ends up getting dropped by the clone troopers uh, as well. More droids back here on various barricades. Again, this is a very bombed out city. So a lot of their defenses are broken down walls, uh, you know, vehicles, etc, etc. They don't have the sturdiest of defense lines. I'm guessing the clone troopers did some serious orbital strikes against these defenses before they launched their invasion, which is always a good way to do things if you're going to be launching a full-scale troop transport invasion. Soften up those defenses first before sending in your infantry and heavy vehicles. AATs over here, though, still surprisingly alive. I'm very shocked by this. I can't believe these things are still alive, to be completely honest. I, I kind of thought the ATTEs would have taken care of them by now. Oh, this one is dead. Oh, so is this one. Apparently, they're just destroyed. They didn't explode, which is kind of rare for those. How about over here? Well, this one did explode, and this one over here is still alive. Okay, so there are still AATs on the battlefield, and this one is full firing at Anakin Skywalker right now, who has pushed extremely far forward in the city right now. He is not being supported by his troopers, which can you really blame them? Because he went so far forward on his own. In fact, his troopers have taken some serious losses down these alleyways. So right now, Anakin might be distracting for them. But if he goes down, the full might of these droids over this way will pivot to fire at him once again, which would not be a very good thing. Um, oh, and we also have this HMG right here, which is firing at Anakin as well. So right now, most of his efforts are going to be towards deflecting incoming droid fire. All right, back to the front lines over here where the clone troopers are still very, very high in terms of numbers. The droid's doing a lot of guerrilla warfare fighting right here, coming out of nooks and crannies to fire at the clones. Not doing a ton of fire just all at once, but whenever they see a good opportunity to get some kills, they definitely take it. ATTE over here ends up going down, uh, and it looks like ATOTs are coming forward, but they don't really have that much power behind them. There's still an ATTE there, and their LAT gunships can fire because they are technically crewed by crew members still. Um, however, it doesn't seem like they are doing too much firing because the battle has sort of gone away from them at this point. Jesse's troopers still moving in on this flank over here. They've taken out a number of droids, as you can see, but now they're at a little bit of an impasse here. Uh, there were a couple droids there stalling them out, a couple droids over here. 
Um, but now they can truly get this flank going and take on some of these droids who are blocking the clone trooper infantry over here, Captain Rex's men, from fully engaging with the city itself. Yeah, these guys are going to get swarmed by troopers pretty soon here, which will be absolutely beautiful. But again, there's a lot of defenses throughout this entire thing that the droids have set up. So it will be tough going. Is this still alive? Yeah, this AAT over here is still alive which uh, it seems to be firing at this uh, ATTE, maybe even that lat behind too. So it seems to be ignoring the clone troopers that are really close to it for now, which is a good thing for these clones because they would get absolutely destroyed by that thing firing in at them. So that's definitely a good thing for those lads. More clone troopers over here going down bit by bit. We are doing some grenading now, which is good to see, but these droids are already dead. So what good is that grenade going to be? I'm not entirely sure. That's not exactly the spiciest of grenades that we like to see from the clone troopers. But I like the idea. I think that maybe if there were alive droids, it would be a good idea. But right now, it's just a waste of a grenade, I suppose. Alrighty then. Over this way, uh, we've got droids actually just sort of hiding out behind some blockades here. And just blasting the crap out of that clone trooper as he tries to run around. Uh, more clone troopers on the other side get hit by rockets and go down hard. One of them in particular there getting absolutely eviscerated. But there's even more clone troopers back this way coming through the city now. Uh, who are firing from afar at those droids and uh, maybe getting some of those kills. Something big shot right here taking out some clones. I'm not that might have just been a rocket droid I'm not entirely sure what that was, but it definitely did some serious damage to those 501st clone troopers back there uh, As they are now very much so dead and there's Anakin still vibing out droids have not been able to get a grip on that guy and uh Yeah, but his troopers further behind are just dying right now. Um ATT is still alive, but it looks like it's lost its top gunner, which is not very helpful. And these clone troopers over here are getting absolutely toasted. So, yeah, Anakin, you might be coming forward and distracting a few of these droids, but it's not really supporting your team all that much. Jesse's troopers fully coming through now. AAT still distracted by the ATTE. So these guys are very, very lucky for that little factoid right there. I am kind of curious as to where Captain Rex is in all of this. There's a lot of clones still down mid right now. Many have died at this point, so Rex could have gone down at some point here. But I like to think he's probably still kicking it. He does have hero health, which tends to help out the uh, clone com commanders and captains quite a bit when surviving on the battlefield. All right, these guys are starting to hop between the different droid ruins, uh, getting some good cover now as they come forward. Not that open warfare that they were having to deal with before. They're spraying down droids, keeping them suppressed. It's very good to see for those clone troopers right now. Um, and the droids, well, they're still firing at Anakin over this way a little bit. But beyond that, they're pretty suppressed, so they're not able to do all that much. These droids over here, though, getting a few shots off at the very least. How's the middle ground doing over here? Okay, clone troopers are shooting into it. There is an E-Web turret right here. Uh, but beyond that, not too much going on in that middle courtyard. The far left side over here, just same thing. Just some street fighting going on. Nothing too crazy or anything along those lines. I think the far right over here is definitely the more secure side for the droids at the moment. They've got more troopers over here, but again, it's still pretty slow fighting as the clone troopers move their way forward against these defenses. Why don't we do a little time lapse here? All right, just a quick little minute long time lapse. Took a little water break. Became a hydro homie by drinking up some aqua. And uh, now the clone troopers have just kind of moved forward a smidge right now. We could go ahead and bump it up a speed, I think, without having too much lag as a lot of clone troopers have died at this point in the battle. Lots of soldiers uh, pushing forward this little alleyway over this way. Uh, middle section still not really getting assaulted by the clones too much. The far right side clones staying pretty far back as well. So at the moment, nothing too crazy. That clone is just shooting dead droids from like a mile away. That's not the best use of your resources, but okay, it's fine. I'm guessing there are no clone bazooka troopers over here to deal with this AAT because it is still alive and while it is alive, clone troopers are currently utilizing this thing as cover. I mean, the disrespect towards this droid AAT is unreal. 
The 501st are a bunch of trolls. That's all I could say, man. That is all I could say. Uh, more droids over here going down, though. Again, guerrilla warfare right now. The droids peeking out every so often to get shots off, things like that. They do have to expose their bodies while doing so. But, I mean, the results are kind of speaking for themselves as the clones have definitely lost more soldiers than the droids in these little assaults throughout the battlefield uh, than anything else so that's pretty decent i would say for the droid army as they're defending here but the clones are at least making progress as long as the clones don't stall out at any points during this battle they definitely can secure a w the real problem with these assaults of mass scale is when the clones or droids end up stalling out for too long this area over here, while the clones are taking mass casualties over here, I would not say is a stall out point. They're still doing really good work and getting really good kills. That was a nasty little bazooka shot right there, though, by the droids. That killed a ton of clone troopers. But if the clones come to a point where they end up taking, like, 200 losses at one singular point, it can be absolutely devastating, and that is where the tides of battle end up turning. But for now, they're still pushing forward really, really nicely, getting tons of kills on the droids, uh, and only taking a few losses at certain points that, you know, they are staggering losses, but it's not the end-all be-all. They'll still be okay. All right, this thing is just spraying and praying, and then turning, and then spraying some more. ATTE over here. It did look like it finally took out that AAT. Good for it. Where's Annie at? Anakin, where are you, my brother? I have no idea where Anakin ran off to. <laughs> oh, wait. There's a ton of clones over this way. They're trying to do a little side flank action. Oh, grenade goes out over there. Destroys that blockade, finally. The side flank action has not gone well. ATOT -AT moving over this way, too. And there's the Falchion tank. And it's run over Anakin. No! Okay. So, Anakin did end up going down. I think, it, I think Anakin did get run over because <laughs> there's no other way he died right there. Holy cow. All right, ATTE firing with its uh, quadruple beams right there at these droids in the side pocket right now. Heavy machine gunner for the droids spamming out fire. Super inaccurate, though. You need these clones to be a little bit more globbed up in order to make this thing pack a punch because right now it is not packing a punch at all. A couple of E-Web turrets over here have gone down. This is uh, definitely... A pretty important defense point for the droids it does protect the city hall right here but the more important defense point is going to be the back of it where uh, the tactical droid has a really killer defense lined up so that'll be pretty interesting to see we still got plenty of droids uh, throughout these various monuments and stuff like that ready to defend so the battle is far from over for the battle droids but they have I'd say lost about a third of their total force right now the clones might have lost a little bit more than that, but now the clones are a little bit more on a roll, I would say. They're getting some kills down this alleyway, sniping out some of these droids, taking them on head on right now. Absolutely beautiful. Not a lot of cover for the clones, but it doesn't seem to matter as they're suppressing the droids and destroying a number of them as they go. Oh! The clone troopers did end up taking this middle ground over here. It looks like they didn't take too many losses in doing so. There's Captain Rex right there, so he spearheaded that clearly. Um, but now we've got this uh, second sort of choke point that the clones have to take over over this way. The droids can definitely get a lot of kills over this way. They're already up to like three or four right now. I'm not sure how the rest of these droids did end up dying. Maybe these clones back here killed them? I'm not entirely sure, but... It's a very good thing because if there were all these droids still alive right here, this little hallway would be so hard for the clones to take. That would be absolutely brutal. All right, let's see. Can we go into full speed now? I think so. Yes, sir. Full speed ahead. Enough clone troopers and droids have died on the battlefield that we're getting good frame rates now. That droid finally does go down from a clone sniping from across the way, uh, but more droids further back. It looks like this guy right here uh, still getting snipes in that area, keeping that tunnel nice and clear at the moment, but the clones are flanking pretty heavily over here on the left, which is going to result in uh, this position probably going down fairly soon, and yes, they've already taken out another droid there. Uh, droid popper goes off the clones start pushing hardcore right now through this tunnel right now and start rattling off z6 rotary cannon shots droids get a few more kills another grenade going out right now the clones are steamrolling oh they break down the entire wall right there my goodness 
More droids behind some better defensive positions over here, still taking on these clone troopers. These things are really hard to kill because they have this tiny window that the clones can shoot back through. It, it makes it very, very difficult to get kills through that. So, pretty challenging. There's a bunch of these set up throughout here, so... We'll see how they hold up. Another uh, machine gun still alive over here. He just gets sniped as we look at it. The daily curse continues. There's another one over here, though. I'm actually surprised the ATT didn't end up taking this thing out. But this thing is still spraying fire out there. It's got one kill, two vehicle kills. So that really isn't that impressive, to be completely honest. It could be doing way, way better. Uh, more clones dead over this way as they peek around this corner. What's nice is the clones seem to be coming forward at the same pace across multiple different lanes. That's going to assist them in taking on the droids all at once by a lot. I mean, that, that is very, very helpful. It splits up the droid defenders by quite a bit. Did Rex go down here? Uh, nope, Rex is still up. Let's go! I love having hero units survive. Uh, for a very long time in these battles. Grenades going off, taking out these blockades. That's a good way to do it right there, rather than trying to snipe them out, which can, again, be very, very difficult. This machine gun is still right... <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Firing off shots! But, I, again, this thing is not accurate at all, so I don't think it's being all that effective, to be completely honest with you. We've still got more droids further back here, firing away as well. A um, couple droids at the back here at the uh, entrance to this area. Even Magnagar is still alive back here. Are they going to go up the stairs? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but they're chilling. They're vibing. They're getting shots off. I'm not sure how effective the Magnagards have been during this entire thing, but, you know, they might have gotten a few kills here and there. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. More clones going down over here. Droids waiting in the ambush for them right now, just around the corner. They don't even have to fire yet because the droids behind them doing enough work on these clones. They don't even need to warrant that. Uh, clones over here pushing through. These were Jesse's boys. Oh! That had to have been a rocket shot. That was devastating. Is that Jesse right there? Yes, sir. Jesse's still alive. We got Jesse and Rex. Anakin has gone down, as has Asajj Ventress. There's another cannon right here. Let's see how many kills this thing has gotten. Eight infantry kills, one vehicle kill. This thing is doing a lot better than the other ones. So props to it. Let's go ahead and actually just check out the total losses right now. On the minimap, by the way, at the top left, blue are droids left alive, red dots are clones left alive. Um, so pretty even, actually. Red are dead clones on the battlefield. Yellow are dead droids currently. Clones have started to take more and more losses as the battle has gone on. But again, we haven't had that mass casualty moment Falchion tank comes out of nowhere and starts to support the clone trooper infantry. Oh, you'll love to see that for the clones. That is extraordinarily helpful. This thing is boogieing on forward here. Fire your cannon again. There are droid rocket troopers back here, though, so it could be shot up pretty bad. It's getting some droid kills, though, which is definitely a good thing to see. There's also a uh, droid weapon back here that... You know, this thing can, if it shoots enough shots into it, get the kill on that Falchion as well. Falchion doesn't even seem to be doing all that much now. It came out with a bang and now is doing next to nothing. More clone infantry behind it, though, uh, can support that tank. And uh, they're cleaning up a few more droids back this way, too. Whew! Quite the battle going on here. The front of the city hall is now fully under attack. A few droids still holding this position here. They've got good cover, but eventually I think the clones will just grenade them out or do a full-scale rush. There's one of the grenades right there. That'll drive these guys out, and they're going to get shot up and die. Are the Magna Guards still alive? No, the Magna Guards got got. So, the entire front half of the battlefield has been taken. Now it is up to the tactical droids' back defenses here, which are kind of facing this way. But what's nice is they'll have these cheeky angles on the clones as they round through these courtyards. It'll be interesting to see. It's a different type of defense than we've really seen in these videos ever before. I've never done like this sort of backhanded defense type of thing. The only real problem is this Falchion tank here. Its sirens are going off, which means it's heavily damaged. There's a Bazooka Trooper firing at it right there. But this thing is doing some serious damage. It does go down, not before taking out one of those heavy machine guns right there. So, I'd say probably worth it. A little bit of a tit-for-tat situation there. More clones pushing up behind the Falchion now. Trying to take on a few E-Web turrets and droids off in the distance. 
Whoo! I have no idea who's going to win this thing right now, but it seems like both sides still have a decent shot. Here's Rex right there with his men rounding this corner right now and spraying up some droids on the opposite side of things over here. How's it going on the right side? A lot quieter on the right side. Jesse's men over here took some bad losses. There's Jesse himself still alive. Huh. And they still got troopers over here though, so that's good to see. Why don't we go ahead and eject uh, the crews of the LAATs? Um, because they can't really do anything in the LAATs anymore, and so that's going to be an additional 20 or 30 uh, soldiers for uh, the clone trooper army here. We'll just send them to the front lines. I'm not going to send them in or anything like that. ATOT can be ejected. These lats over here can be ejected as well. Might as well just get the crews of the uh, tanks here onto the battlefield instead of just hanging out inside of static vehicles. That can't really do anything. This ATTE is still grooving though. It's got 27 infantry kills, so it did some big things throughout this battle. So we will leave it alive for now. I think this is one of the worst situations Rex could be in right here. Wrapping around this corner really tightly like this is not a good strategy. You gotta spread out more in order to make this work. So I don't love this 501st positioning. Luckily, there's a lot of pillars for them to take cover behind, and uh, seems like the droids are having a little bit of trouble getting angles on them. Also, the fact that this went down due to the Falchion really really helpful that is going to pay some serious dividends in the future okay jesse is sending his troops forward now we've got soldiers pushing this side of the battlefield uh, and taking on more of the droid army further back big rocket shot from the droids right there take out a number of 501st clone troopers in one foul swoop Woo -wee! that is a no good right there oh my goodness okay well, more fire going out from them. This ATTE over here ended up turtling, so it's not going to do anything from the future. More clones still coming forward, some still back here. So the full force of clones is still not yet fully realized. Oh, and a bunch of clones are coming forward over here too. Very nice to see. All right, so Rex is going to get some of that side sweep support that I was saying he needed. That's beautiful, and it seems like the droids are fixating on the opposite side of the battlefield now. So these clones are able to get really, really close here. All right, they're gonna start some action now though another heavy MG over there along with some e-web turrets They're not the worst things to take out I mean they can do some serious damage, but they're way better in choke point situations So this isn't horrible for the clone troopers a couple of them going down early on though But they got good cover in this courtyard area here. They can spam out a lot of fire all at once It's definitely a bit of an ideal situation for them to be in I think it's better than what they were doing before by far but there's some of these really good blockades yet again. A lot of heavy machine guns, a lot of E-Web turrets. It's going to be some trouble. That E-Web turret right here ended up going down. Didn't get any kills. This one's got one vehicle kill. Okay, uh, this one is dead, so we can't quite check. That one's dead, so we can't check. This one here, no kills, no kills. This one's got none. This one's got one. Okay, so these vehicles have not done that much. I think this one's dead because the droid disembarked right there, so it must have gotten hit by a bazooka or something along those lines. Oh, we still got some Magna Guards pushing out. What are you doing? What a doofus! What was that? He ran straight into the 501st lines right there and then kick-started the war yet again. The B1s must be so pissed off at that guy. That was not helpful in the slightest. Clone bazooka sh uh, fire going out at the droid lines as well. That's a good way to take out those vehicles for sure. Keep that up, boys. Take them down. Strike them while they are weak. That was a beautiful shot. That forces that droid to disembark from that one as well. Must have done some whole damage to that thing. Clones of Rex's squad over here still pushing forward. Rex has got to be around here somewhere. The oh, wait. There he is. Okay. I was like, do my eyes deceive me, or did I not just see Rex? All right, these guys rounding the corner over this way, getting shot up pretty bad yet again. There's just a lot of droids around here, fellas. There's just a lot of droids that you got to deal with. This is uh, a real brutal battle, all in all. They're taking losses left and right, but I still think they can manage to do this. At the very least, the clones, every time they take a loss, they're at least killing a droid. 
and that that's what you want to see in these assaults because if you're going in and you're going in dry and you're not getting any kills for every soldier you lose you're never going to make anything happen that's when most of these battles stall out is when the defenders are so tightly wound in their defenses that the assaulters just cannot get any kills that's when you know you've lost you know you can you can still have 300 attackers but they're barely getting any kills you can kind of guess like ooh, this is not going to go well at all in the future that that's just about it so it's rough it's rough out here these guys still pushing forward good to see these guys yep wrapping around this corner it is a tough corner to wrap around though it is a very very tough corner there's lots of droids out here behind cover that's a toughie we've got some serious losses things are going slightly quiet right now nothing too crazy happening this guy's wrapping around that way let me go ahead and fast forward a little bit here get the vibes moving here we go a couple z6 rotary cannon troopers around here yeah now they're right they have to keep going around corner after corner after corner it is not a fun life for these clone troopers right now if their boys over here could get a little bit farther forward and distract more droids that would be ideal but they're coming through this little terrain here and between these columns just getting shot up by droid laser fire it is not a good situation for them to be in at all yeah this is a tough assault this whole thing is turning into a meat grinder this is this is a struggle area now for sure a couple grenades would solve that but you have to peek around the side for long enough to get the grenade off which is just really hard to do but as you can see the clones are really close to the tactical droid their ultimate objective here they're really close they are closing in okay here we go jesse's men pushing this way i still don't know if jesse is alive at this point we keep losing track of him but he has survived for a very long time up until this point if he is alive there he is jesse we rarely have it where hero units stay alive for so long it's kind of crazy okay so now we have these clones wrapping around this corner and these clones wrapping around this corner and the droids just blasting the snot out of both sides this is the final defense of the droids if we look at the minimap blue are clone troopers left alive red are droids left alive there's not a lot of droids left alive at all um we can go ahead and evac the last trooper out of this atte this att is not going anywhere get the last trooper out of that one his atot is not getting anywhere get out of there that's four additional soldiers for the clones i guess there you go a little bit more but eh, it's really not going to do too much Whew. more clones dying over here as the droids just shoot them up it is brutal right now all right why don't we time lapse for a little bit because things are slowing down big time oop yeah more clones dying this might be the hard stop point though that the that i warned about short little two minute time lapse there i wanted to check and see if rex had tried his hand at moving in doesn't look like it still a bunch of troopers over here for the clones rex is still right there so the, the clones do still have units ready to go they're just fighting someone over here i think they got a kill too I heard the droid death sound there's still one droid over here he doesn't have any kills so he's not that effective clearly i think this route is easier for the clones to go through let's go fast motion again they're just really struggling with finishing this that's jesse no jesse he made it so long in this battle and at the very end gets his just booty rocked oh good try good try come on guys go out there with a grenade and just start busting caps no don't walk away come back you buffoons oh my goodness we're getting into the derp season of the battle for sure a lot of clones coming forward from way far back i th i still i do believe the clones can do this they're just stalling out real bad right now yeah this could this could be a long haul video but we Clones could still do it. They keep backtracking because they're losing sight of the objective. And then they come back one at a time, which is just not very helpful. Should we squat up the clones at the very least? Oh, this guy could do some damage. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, we're going to squat up the clones. Anti-derp rule, squatting up the clones. Come on, boys, bringing them forward a little bit. 
making it so they'll fight as a unit. We do this for the droids all the time, and therefore we're going to do it for the clones as well. So there we go. Squatted up a few units, so at the very least they'll work together. Um, there's Rex right there. They're going to try and go up that staircase, which I don't think actually leads anywhere. So not the most helpful. Look at this. Dude, you can shoot that guy. You can shoot him. What are you doing? Nothing. That's what. Oh, we got clones all the way down here. Look at that. Oh, with the rocket launcher. Okay. I see you. Yeah, heal up. Get that angle crisp. No, don't walk away. You were in prime locale. What are you doing? Another clone dies over this way. Oh, God. My goodness. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's like, it's a tiny amount of droids still alive, and the clones just can't kill them. Like, what are you guys doing? <sighs> it's painful. Dude, get out there. Rocket flick shot tactical droid. Check the back blast, make sure there's no clones behind you, but rocket flick shot. Alright, 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 here we go, we got a big assault, we got a big assault. One clone goes down. Come on, come on, come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. He had to reload. What? I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying inside. Shoot. Fire. He's exposed. Right there. Shoot him. What are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? Why? Why? I don't understand. You guys are so dumb! Shoot him! Ah! This is pain. This is pain. Pure, unadulterated pain. Couple clones still back here. Rex and the boys right there. Uh, a few clones over this way too. Ah! Uh, it pains me. Another attempt over here. Resulted failure! <sighs> Alright. Let's time lapse again, boys. Alright, guys. After that time lapse, more clones have died, including Rex, who died back here somehow. I don't know how. Um, let's bundle up the last of the clones and put them here. <sighs> I think we're looking down the barrel of a clone L. A big fat clone L. But let's, uh, let's try and give them the last shot they deserve to take. Um, th there's still actually a number of clones back here, all just kind of chilling and vibing. So let's bring them forward, all of them, if we can. And uh, give him, give him one last hurrah! Still, no one's gotten out of this stupid thing. Get out of there! What the heck, dude? What the heck? Okay, I don't know. I don't know why they're still stuck in there. It is what it is. Um, well, all clone infantry is pretty much forward now. The droids have currently, I'd say like nine or ten droids. This guy's got six kills. This guy's got four. This guy's got none. This guy's got eight. Uh, these guys. Well, that guy has two. The rest have none. This E-Web has two kills. This E-Web has three. This guy's got five kills. And there's the troop back here who has none. Copy that. All right. Let's go in slow-mo. So everyone moves forward together. We'll move these guys in. And we will move these guys in. And that will be it for the clones. One last hoorah. Try and get these guys forward all simultaneously if we can. So that they move together. Alright. Boom. Action time. Let's see how this goes. I think they might get slaughtered. I think they might get slaughtered here. Uh, okay. Starting off rough with uh, clone troopers dying. But they are at least shooting this time around. So they're getting that done. Also the bazookas are popping the e-webs pretty nicely. There you go. Both e-webs go down with relative ease there. Uh, as the clone troopers finally get some bazooka shots off. The troops guarding the tactical droid right now popping off as well. These clones sneak up behind while those clones take on the brunt of the droid action right there. That's pretty swell. And now they're tag teaming the droids coming from both different angles right here. Okay. There you go. That's how easy it is. All the clones had to do was attack simultaneously. 
And there you go. They kill the tactical droid and the rest of the droids. I know I helped out the clones there, um, but I've helped out the droids in recent past. Uh, so people, uh, you know, there you go. There's the balancing. I helped out the, the droids a few times. I've helped out the clones now as well. So bada bing. But I just... That was such a silly defense the droids were holding for so long. Yellow are dead clones, red are dead droids. Absolute th just slaughter throughout this entire battlefield with the clones scraping by with a Pyrrhic victory. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.